How are you? Great. How are you? Good. It's a pleasure to meet you. She has pizza in her mouth. So I, I do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I listened to Kiss FM growing up. Yeah, girl. Yes. So I love it. I know because you're a Chicago girl. Born and there's and so raised, yeah. I love it. So tell me, I mean, getting to do this movie with Chance the Rapper kind of all came together. Chicago right? hero. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Sorry, there's pepperoni. I understand. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Um, so, yeah, I found out like a couple days before we started filming. I was in L.A. and I got to fly back to Chicago for my favorite city in the world. Yeah. And working with Chance on my very first day, we shot a couple scenes. And he was like so charismatic and casual and confident. He just strolled right in and just like took over the scene. And I was like, this dude is amazing. Here he is. Oh, yeah. There, there's the man right there. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's awesome. So growing up here, I mean, I know you did a lot of theater and stuff here. Yeah. and so Many, many shows. Steppenwolf, all that I read, right? It's the best way to learn to be an actor, I think. Just doing plays, eight shows a week at the best theaters. I think it's the best theater city in the world. Well, in America, anyway. I love it. I haven't it. really been many places, but definitely in America. No, but you hear that from a lot of people, so I don't doubt Oh, yeah. Steppenwolf, Goodman, <laughs> Chicago Shakespeare, Victor, it's the best. And what did I see, too? You're like a massive sports fan, right? Like Chicago I'm sports I'm a huge fan. Cubs, Bulls, Blackhawks fan. But what about, okay, right, because I saw on your Instagram, you were like all Cubs all over the place. Yeah, well, I grew up playing baseball and softball. I was actually going to play softball in college, but became an actor instead. And look at how things um, turned out. I know, it turned out, I think I made the right choice there. Yeah. But yeah, I'm obsessed with baseball. I love the Cubs. I'm so, I hope they beat the Brewers this weekend. It's a big, big weekend. Do you have a favorite player? Yeah, I mean, I have many, but right now it's Kyle Schwarber. Mm, that's a good one. He has the power. Also, David Bodie. I love them all. I saw you got a photo with him. I did get a photo with David Bodie. He's he's our hero of the moment. He's like, he's amazing. And I love it. And um, also, because <laughs> the thing that I want, I, I don't know if it's a sore subject, but the Bears, I mean. That was rough. <laughs> it's real hard to lose to Green Bay like that. That was one of the worst losses I've ever seen. I hope, I mean, we've got a young team. I think we're looking up, and we just got to get those rough losses out of the way. So We're sticking with the Cubs for now. Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited about the Cubs. We're going to win it all. Well, anything else you want to add about the film? Um, it's just great. Horror comedy. It's so fun. The cast is amazing. Austin, our first-time director, is amazing. He's brilliant. I'm so excited for the world to see his work. So great to meet you, and good so luck. nice to meet you, too. You too. Thank you. Can I get a Hi, Paul. Hi, how are you? Great. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, great to meet good. you. Nice to meet you. This is a big deal. Slice. Yes, Slice. Uh, tell me, because I know it's a little bit quirky. Yeah, so tell me yeah. the plot. Yeah. So Slice is this interesting movie. It's kind of undescribable. It's like werewolves, ghosts, in a pizza place. It should be an ABC show. Uh, no, but it's like, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's a horror, it's a comedy, and um, I kind of think it's like a mix between like Tim Burton's and John Waters. Very good. And so what did you learn about Chance the Rapper along the way? Anything? You know, Chance is as lovely and as charismatic and as wonderful as you would imagine him to be. And in this movie, he's kind of like our Han Solo character. Uh -huh. He is a disgraced werewolf out to clear his name. So if you like Chance and you like werewolves, I mean, this is a movie for you. Who doesn't? I mean, yeah, really. exactly, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have some Chicago ties, right? I do, yeah. yeah. You know, I um, came up through the UCB, which is the Upright Citizens Brigade, uh -huh. and they're all Chicagoans. Uh, they came out of IO and Second City. So I have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of love there from Chicago. And then also my show, The League, which we did for seven years, took place in Chicago. So, yeah, uh, Chicago strong. And what did I see the other week? You'll have to just explain this to me. You were at like a bachelor party and like oh, I yes. saw John Mayer. So yes. what is all this? Uh, so a friend of mine is getting married. Uh, John Mayer is one of his friends, as am I. And uh, we went to this event in Schaumburg, Illinois uh -huh. called All In. It's underground wrestling, 10,000 seat arena sold out for the most insane uh, wrestling event of all time. It was uh, it was really, uh, really, really awesome. What is What was the conversation like with John Mayer? Well, I mean, I know John, so it wasn't. Uh, it so wasn't, wasn't like, that weird. It okay. wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like, hey, who are you? Yeah, no, I. Uh, so yeah, okay. no, John. Uh, you yeah, look, John is one of those guys, and I think the one thing that I would say about John Mayer uh, that you may not know is he's hilariously funny. Yeah. Uh, he's a guy who, like, on a text chain, will be the funniest guy on the text chain. He's uh, great. I could imagine. Yeah, he strikes me as a very funny yeah, guy. Really um, and so finally, um, getting to do this movie here, kind of where you have ties to, is there something that kind of like special that's stuck out to you that is sort of like that kind yeah. of sticks with you yeah. yeah for me you know coming here to Illinois and being in Chicago 
I love the people here. Um, the people are so nice. And when we were shooting this film, we saw this really cool car on the side of the road. We stopped our production vehicle, got out, knocked on the door, and we're like, can we use that car? And they're like, yeah, absolutely. And that, to me, sums up like the mentality of people here from Illinois who are like, yeah, that they wanted to be involved, they were so helpful, they were so lovely, and yeah, come back in a heartbeat. And finally, but Veep. not when it's too cold or too hot. Oh, right, no, no, yeah. no, 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 right, like right. now's the perfect time. Yeah. Um, just finally, Veep, can anything, can we just talk really quick? Yeah, so uh, the last season of Veep is coming up. Uh, my character will kind of be back for a little bit. Some big changes are happening. I think it's gonna be a super fulfilling uh, end, but it does pick up like about two weeks after what you saw in the end of last season, which will be really fun. Love it. One of my favorites. Yeah, Great, awesome. to Great to meet you. Great to meet you too. This is a very exciting night. Slice. How did you get involved with the project? Um, I got an offer for it um, in 2016, and I read the script and said yes. <laughs> and you were like, I want in. Um, this kind of, they're explaining it's kind of like a werewolf meets murder. Kind yeah, of. it's like a campy horror comedy. I'd say it leans more into comedy. Um, kind of like primary colors and funky character sort of thing. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, what did you? What was your takeaway about Chicago after this whole thing? Oh well, we didn't film in Chicago. We filmed in Joliet. Or Joliet, so, I should say. Um, and I went to Chicago. Came to Chicago for like one night. I've worked out of Chicago before, though, so I, I really love Chicago. I think it's a great place. Um, but Joliet, I mean, that's like a little little town we were living li living literally one minute off the highway um, and like I think it was like a holiday in so um, I will say it was kind of a struggle <laughs> I, we had no room service or nothing the only restaurants around were McDonald's and Chipotle and I did a bunch of microwave mac and cheese so that was my three weeks there. So overall, yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but I had a good time. It was a good yeah. group. Um, congrats on the Emmy nomination for Thank Atlanta. Thank you. Appreciate How excited it. are you on that? I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm like pretty like, I'm keeping it mellow. So um, I know because you don't want to like get overexcited. Either. Yeah, but um, yeah, well, I guess we'll see what happens. If not, there are a bunch of other people that are nominated with me that I think also deserve the title. So. And also just have to give a shout out to Deadpool too. You were fantastic. Thank you, Thank you so How much. How fun was that? It was great. I mean, Ryan is super funny. And um, I mean, the whole crew though, like Josh, everybody, it was just it was like a, it's really a bullion group of people. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. fun to be Finally, there. last thing I saw on your Instagram, you make your own kombucha? I do. I do. How do you? I'm like <laughs> amazed by this. Um, I kind of, I keep searching kind of, well, no. I'm like very like, I like making my own stuff. I like cooking. I'm, I do enjoy cooking. I find it very therapeutic, but I'm also kind of a little bit like every other week I like try to go vegan and I like, I'm kind of very like earth mama sort of person. And I think making your own kombucha grow goes in that pile of stuff. So it's just like a fun thing. It's this living thing that you have to try and keep alive and it's sort of a fun, it's a fun thing to play with. I love it. I thought it was fascinating. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs>